Hello everybody, so glad that you joined us and I am here with my nephew Justin Warren. Hello. We are in his shop and this is where it all happens. He creates LED signs, right? Yep, yeah, it's what I do for a living. It's what he does for a living. For fun, really. <laughs> the, the boy toys, right? He's got several boy toys in this shop, I'm telling you. But the name of our devotion today is called Fixable. I asked Justin a question. Justin, what if there's a malfunction in the middle of the LD, LED screen. You know, if you're gone down, driving down the road and you see someone's LED screen and there's one spot, it's like, oh my goodness, how will they fix that one spot? You know, I thought of the, uh, the scripture, Zechariah 4 and 10 says, who has despised the day of small things? You know, you can look at that spot and think, man, that's all I'm looking at. I'm not looking at the surrounding area of see like this house here, you know, we're not seeing you know, when, when there's a spot or, you know, a malfunction, yeah. that's what we're looking at. And sometimes that's the way we can be in, in our lives and think this is just not even fixable. So I wanted Justin to demonstrate because I was like, wow, I didn't know that you could do that. So, Justin, if there's one spot that's messed up, do you scrap the whole sign? No. Show us what you do. All right, so let's just say this right here had a issue. Oh my goodness. So you would see just this one panel here, but let's just say this panel was dead. So I'm going to create an issue here. Okay. Taking the power source off of it. Okay. He's creating an issue. Have you ever gone through something and it's like, okay, you're creating an issue here that we don't need. But you know, it's that little piece. It's, it can be a small thing, but it can have a big impact. And I thought about Jeremiah 31 and 4 says, again, I will build you and you shall be built. And, you know, when I was in Israel, okay, so he's created an issue. And that's, I'm attentive to details too, Justin. And that kind of thing would mess with me, you know, if I'm seeing that one little spot. Mm -hmm. And sometimes that's what we do. And we, you know, we can look at that one little thing and say, and thank God you can't fix this. I mean, this is. We might as well just scrap it, just scrap my life, scrap everything. It's just not fixable. But, you know, in his word, he said to go down to the, uh, he told Jeremiah to go down to the potter's wheel. And, you know, when it's, what does he do? He just, he, that yeah, lump just, of clay just. Yeah, they, they actually make a mistake and they just, the clay could just fall, fall off and they'll start all over the very bottom, start working it all the way back from the base, from the foundation, but they don't throw none of it away. That's just right. Remold it. That's right. And you know, some of the things that have happened in your life, and you may think, you know, this is God, how can you use this? But He can use it. You know, again, this scripture, Jeremiah 31 and 4, when He said, I will build you again and you shall be built. When we were in Israel, we saw what looked like mountains in areas, but it was actually tells, T E L S. And it was, it's actually uh, just in there were cities that were buried over time. And what they would do, they would just build upon the other another city. That's right. And so they would build on the ruins of yesterday. And so God can even use the very things that the enemy tried to destroy you with. And he can make something beautiful out of your life. You can help somebody else. So Justin, tell us how to how you're gonna fix this. I mean, you're not gonna scrap the whole sign. No. I mean, if you got one issue, what do you do? I actually fixed in this case, I'm gonna fix the connection to this panel because I can see it's not getting a signal anymore. So these pixels don't know, how, don't know what to do anymore. They don't know how to light up. They need the instructions from the computer. So I'm going okay. to fix that right now. And that's what we need. We need the instructions. What is our instruction book? We know it's the Word of God. And our we source. are saying, yes, that is our source. And we say, God, I need some instruction from you. And he's saying, don't scrap it. Don't scrap even what you've gone through because I'm going to make something beautiful out of it. I'm going to repair your house. I'm going to build on the ruins of yesterday when we, when we submit it to him. And when he's saying, you know, we can look at that one little thing mm -hmm. and think, you know, you're, God, you're, you're, you're done with me. You know, but he's saying, no, I, you're fixable. Yes. You're fixable if you'll give it to me. Give it to the master's hand. You know, this, he's a professional and this is what he does. And so what God does, he says, give it to me and you watch what I do with your life. You know, you may feel like it's, it's scrapped, man, you know, but you give it to him and that's what he does. Yes. Justin, tell us about, you know, things in your life that, that you knew God, he worked it for good, something you had gone through and, you know, that normally, you know, could have brought you shame or, you know, discouragement, mm -hmm. 
you know, but you, have you seen God use it for his glory? That one piece that just, I mean, really had the a huge impact on your life. Yeah, so there's it's quite a few of those, I think. The ones that make the biggest impact for me are the ones that I was able to actually realize what was going on in my life. Um, each time it was best for me to stop making a mess of it with my own hands <laughs> and, and letting him, uh, you know, I, I mentioned the connection to that module back there. They call that a module. And it actually has a, um, a pin that has ports that tell those gives commands to the lights to know what color to be and what and what beyond what not to be on. So we have to be connected to the source, and and he's actually our source. If we plug in to the source, he'll he'll actually command our steps. And, and the Bible says a righteous man's steps are ordered by the Lord. That's right. So if you know if we, we let him give us our the commands and we are able to follow him, so we're connected to him, then we'll, our lives will actually look like this picture here. It's fixed. <laughs> It's together. That's um, right. That's right. Because God doesn't make your life a mess. We can we can tend to mess things up, but he, not, never is it lost. That's You're still right. breathing. You have a chance to fix it, and he's always willing to come back. That's so good. That's so good. So listen, listen. You are fixable. You are fixable, and what's happened in your life, it's not like that. just that black hole in the middle of this beautiful house. He's saying, give it to me. Let me use it. You know, I'm telling you, if you have a broken arm in the natural and if you don't take it to a physician, it grows vulnerable and crooked to be broken again, really. And what we do, we nurse it and we rehearse it, all the things that we've gone through. But what happens when you take it to the great physician, he's saying, I've got to break it again. But his brokenness is not tragedy and pain and sorrow. It's when we become humble before him. And we say, God, here's here's my broken pieces. God, I, I release it all to you. And you know what? He makes that arm so strong, you yeah. know, to where you're able to pick up somebody else that has fallen. He has to realign it first. That's right. That's, he has to realign that, that's it. That's the painful part. He realigns us. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Gets us back in line. Gets set it yeah. back in place so it can grow and it can repair and mend. That's right. So what? set you back in place in the church and so you can hear the word. That's right. He's fixing you. Just give the pieces to him. He knows how to do it. Justin, will you lead us in prayer? Yes. Heavenly Father, again, we just thank you and we praise you for this moment in time, Lord, thank that you are here with us. And that, Lord God, I pray you're here with the listeners, Lord, right now. And ask that you just to speak to them and mend a complete, Lord God, repair to their yes. lives, God. Showing them, God, that you are the source. You have the information that we need, Lord. It's through you that we are able to be free and we are able to be whole and complete. And, Lord God, you make our picture perfect, God. Mm -hmm. You complete us yes, in Jesus. our lives. And we just lift you up and give you praise right now. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for spending a few moments with us. God loves you. We love you. We love you. And have a great rest of your day, okay? All right, bye-bye.